Okay, welcome everybody to another video and today we traveled uh, away ahead in Germany to witness a maiden flight from this small Harrier. This Harrier is really special because it's the world's first lightweight PLA printed Harrier with, suited with a 90mm ADF. So yesterday we took off, it was a really excitement day and maiden flight. Um, I'm really thankful to Rene that I was able to visit this uh, this workshop. So Rene, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey guy, nice to have you here. Yeah. yeah. And you see the whole table is full of Harriers, so yeah. it couldn't be better. Yeah. And I would say, uh, Joel, let's introduce a little bit about your Harrier. Yeah. This is such an amazing plane. What do we see here? Okay, Rene, we see a one to seven scale, uh, also lightweight PLA printed. Um, this is a number four, version number four. So for the followers who are following the, my channel, uh, this is the fourth Harry what I built. Completely lightweight filament and this weight without lipos is like four kilos. Oh, great. Yes, and the secret is, is this uh, JP engine. It's yeah. just a 120 mil uh, engine, can process like nine kilos. And yeah, this will be able to take it off vertically. So yeah, this is really special. Yeah, really, really great. So, so did you fly also horizontally with this Harrier now? No, this will be our next project. So okay. this is a qu quite cool. sneak preview. Cool. We're going to build together a yeah. forward flight model next month. Yeah. And uh, for now, I will finish this vertical start and then we yeah. can combine these models together to make a first transition evenly. So lots of lots of nice content to come guys. Yeah. Okay guys, yesterday we had a very nice flight. We made some introduction on uh, Instagram. So Rene, just tell me about the details about the flight. <laughs> this was so cool. And <laughs> this was the first flight. I was not angry of the behavior of the airplane because I did so many tests. Yeah, We figured out which is the best vortex uh, generator. Here we already has all the data. So I know there will be enough lift. Yeah, And also the gyro configuration, I already know almost. Yeah. But nevertheless, uh, we can show you our first try of the start, yeah? One, two, three. No. Um, but the problem was not that the Harrier won't fly, it was just the rubber was not uh, strong enough. But right on the second try, yeah, it lifts up yeah. and fly perfectly. Yeah, and I was, I was really happy with this airplane because it can fly fast <laughs> oh, and yeah. slow, yeah? And Joe, and Joe, what was your impression of the first flight? It was crazy. It was directly stable. I was really scared because this wing has a down sweep and a back sweep. So it will stall at the first time at the ailerons. But everything was perfect. CG yeah. was perfect. Yeah. The, our uh, gyro grains were perfect. Yeah. And you were helping then. I was, I was putting the yeah. gyro first on 100% <laughs> like I did on the SUX. But uh, Joel corrected me and said, no, it's too much. It, it will start wobbling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and she was right. He was really right. Yeah. And this was a really good setting. Yeah. This was a good, really good teamwork. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah. guys, I would say, let's take a look on this footage, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> let's. It's flying, it's flying. <laughs>
to stay longer now for second flight. Ja, dat is Nice work, mate. Congratulations. Congratulations. It flies. Slowly. Okay, guys, we have one more topic what I wanted to tell you. Um, this success is not done by our own. We decided to make a group with all competence inside this group. And there's only one, there's one guy in the background We've never shown on those videos. So I would I want to really like to introduce. <laughs> Let's come in. Yeah. Yeah. This Ziggy. is Ziggy. Yeah. Hello everybody. Welcome Ziggy. Yes. Welcome. What are you doing on this project? Let's tell us. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. A lot of a lot of stuff actually in the background. First of all, I would like to say thank you that I met you guys. Yeah. Joel, we even know a little bit longer than uh, than we really do. But uh, I think we three are uh, yeah, working pretty, pretty good together. Yes, and, uh, yes. We have already a lot of experience, especially in the area project. I started with my first area about the 2000s, um, just to make a vertical takeoff and thinking about transition. But honestly, the technique was not able to give us what we actually need. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I restarted the pro complete project um, about yeah, five, five or six years ago. And then I felt already pretty convinced about the Beatles stuff that we see here on the, on the area from Joel. But the next step was to make a fast forward flight. Yeah. Yes. And uh, there we redesigned uh, a lot of a lot of things. We may, uh, we enlarged, for example, the rudders. We pick a different airfoil for the wings, a larger airfoil for the wings. And um, yeah, then came out the smaller version where yes. we just wanted to check the aerodynamics. And since <laughs> yeah. yesterday, we are very, very convinced. Yeah, champagne. So, so much fun with this. Uh, <laughs> that it works. So fast forward flight is working, and uh, vertical takeoff and landing. We already have a lot of experience, and now let's yeah. bring it together to make it happen. Yes, there are <laughs> so many things upcoming. Jiggy already created tiltable nozzles, and we are working on a printable gear, which is very stable. Made from AF80. This is a uh, Aeromeet reinforced uh, PLA for, for printing. Yeah. Um, and yes, I think uh, this year is so much coming up. So I would say stay tuned, guys, yeah, on yeah. all channels. Yeah. Thumbs up and see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>